First of all, it's a pleasure to be talking to you. Thank you very much. Um, you. Now, Australia, obviously not far from New Zealand, good relationship. Yeah, I like to call it the West Island. Yeah. <laughs> it's good to be back. Um, how are the fans receiving you here? Yeah, great. It's, uh, you know, the reason that I wanted to do this was because Star Trek was such a phenomenal box office smash hit here in Australia. It, it generated over 12 million US dollars just in Australia alone, and, and this is uh, on behalf of Paramount. JJ and the rest of the cast uh, and crews uh, our way of saying thanks. Yep, we were at the world premiere too, both of us. It's a very awesome movie. Yeah, that was good. I mean, that, that was actually the first time that I saw Star Trek, and uh, it was still actually, uh, out of all the times I've seen it, my most favourite screen in the world. Just they constructed a purpose built cinema yeah. uh, at the Sydney Opera House, and just the sound and the size of the screen and, and the audience reaction was uh, something I never forget. How have you found the fans have been receiving the uh, the new well, film? Really well, really well. You know, I think that's a testament to um, the brilliance of J.J. Abrams and uh, uh, the writers, Robert Orsi and Alex Kurtzman, and uh, and the wonderful cast that, uh, that they assembled. Okay, now it seems there's a bit of a pattern developing. You've got a uh, Lord of the Rings, which is you know big epic blockbusters, uh, you know the trilogy there. You got the uh, the Bourne movies that was your only one of them, but the trilogy there. You got Star Trek. Are you signed on for more there, or what's, what's Star happening? Trek? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, um, we're signed on to do another couple of uh, Star Treks, and you know, thankfully that, that uh, we're we're going to get to do that. Um, so, and I'm really looking forward to continue to. Uh, develop and explore these characters. Now yourself, it's it's worked out obviously pretty fortuitously that, you know, you, you get to be in these movies again and again, it's keeping you employed, but is it, uh, you're having fun uh, in all the roles that you're doing, you're choosing? Yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I think if you're not having fun, you shouldn't be doing it. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you know, I couldn't be working with a, 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 a a greater bunch of guys, you know. Uh, I feel very blessed. Yep. And in between, you get to do movies like Pathfinder and things like that. How important is it to do something other than the, you know, the big blockbusters? Uh, yeah. You know, I just, uh, I, I just enjoy, just enjoy the craft of acting, and I, uh, you know, I just want to continue to, um, uh, you know, to, to work in all sorts of different genres and mediums, not just film, but theatre and television. And uh, I feel very uh, blessed that, uh, that Star Trek's given me the opportunity to um, you know, maintain some longevity. Okay. Uh, what's, uh, what's coming up next for you? Uh, I'm in the process of negotiating a, uh, a deal on a film that I'm very excited about. It will probably come out, the release will come out in about a week or so, but I can't uh, divulge what it is. Any totally. hints? No, I can't. It's based on the graphic novel, I can say that. Okay, yeah. interesting. It's a good, look, this is Supernova Pop Culture Expo. It's a good place to There you go, to, it's a good place to be. Uh, yeah, but it's a good place to give a hint. Yeah. The graphic novel, nothing? No, can't do it. Well known graphic novel, well received? Yeah. Yeah? Relatively. Okay. Um, now, any Australians tried to uh, to claim you as their own? Because every time a Kiwi makes it big, they Funny that. This happened with Neil Finn, Russell Crowe. Yep. Who else? Hugh are they, Jackman. Are they trying to take you? Uh, I'm just kidding. A few. I just thought they'd take you. <laughs> Why not? Uh. <laughs> you got flight of the Concords. I'd trade any yeah, of them yeah, for yeah, flight exactly, of the Concords. Exactly. Yeah. Well, actually, you know, I did. I did live here in Sydney for a year, so I'm claimable. Yep. I've lived here. Yep. No. And uh, what do you do to relax? What do I do to relax? Um, nothing that you can put in print. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, what do I do to relax? At least without an age limit on it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, lots of things. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, lots of things. I like surfing, I like golf, I like going to the movies. Yep. Just regular stuff, hanging for family. Yep. Right, nice. And um, there were rumours back before Daniel Craig was cast as Bond that your name was in the mix. Was there any truth to that? Did they ever approach you? Yeah, I did some meetings on it, but unfortunately I couldn't make the screen test because I was um, shooting a movie. Uh, but uh, to tell you the truth, I think they found a perfect Bond. I think Daniel Craig did such an awesome job uh, in both of those films. And, uh, you know, I, it's as a fan of the Bond movies, uh, uh, he, uh, uh, he uh, ticks all the boxes for me. Yep, and uh, given the chance, because um, every Bond, you know, goes at some stage, is that something that you would uh, consider sure, in the put future? My, put my card in the hat for the, for the next one, if I'm not 12. <laughs> yep, okay, I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I think that's about it. Cool. Thanks a lot.